Hi everybody, I'm here to present a new macro that calculates the envelope case of bending moment, shear and deflection. I start showing this page, which is probably the most interesting part of the program. In these columns, we have the maximum and minimum values of reaction on all the bearings, selected among all the combination cases for each bearing. The same happens for the moment on the bearings. Here, we have the envelope of bending moment drawn searching among all the combination cases, the maximum and the minimum values of the bending moment calculate every 5 cm of the beam. So, as you can see, in any situation the bending moment will be always inside this area and this gives you important information to project the beam. The same can be said about the shear diagram. Here there is a column of the maximum and here the one of the minimum. Just one thing, in the position of the bearings I added a double point to show the discontinuity of shear between the left and the right of the bearing. This happens also when you have a concentrated moment and force. This is the summary that shows you the loads and safety factors considered in this example and now we are combined to create the combination cases. By default the combination cases are one case with a maximum load in each span of a beam and cases with just the dead load moving in diagonal while the other spans are loaded with a maximum load two cases where the dead load is applied with a chessboard scheme but you can enter any customized combination, as many as you want the program calculates all the reactions the moment at the bearings, the maximum and minimum values of bending moment, shear and deflection for the whole beam, and also for each span. As you can see, those values are calculated for every combination case treated. In this page, we have all the diagrams and values of bending moment and shear calculated every 5 cm of a beam for each combination case, the maximum and minimum of bending moment and shear of every single point are used to get the envelope case. Let's do a couple of exercises. A simple example of envelope case and another to verify with the FEM program the results. Let's start doing the exercise just showed. It's a four spans beam just supported at the ends. We want to calculate the combination at ultimate limit state of euro code giving 3 kN per meter as dead load, 4 and 2 as live loads. Automatically, the program checks which of the live load is the biggest to choose the primary and the secondary one for the combinations. This time, we will add some combination cases at the default ones. One with just dead load among the beam, and another with just the middle spans loaded with the maximum load. Let's insert the length for each span. We'll give 4 meters as length and to EJ the value of a steel beam in which E is 200 GPa and J the inertia moment of a square section of 10 cm. Click run and wait few seconds for the results. Let me organize the page. Ok. Here we can see how the loads are combined and how they create 9 cases. The 7 default cases plus the 2 cases that I added at the beginning. Also in this example we have the results of the reaction, the moment at the bearings, the biggest and the smallest values of the bending moment, shear and deflection, both for the entire beam, and in each span. And those values are calculated for all the nine cases. In the Hammer's sheet we have the diagrams and values of bending moment and shear and those values are again calculated for every case. Here we have a bending moment and shear for the last case. 
The sheet of the deflection is again a series of values in millimeters, calculated every 5 cm of a beam, and again one diagram for every combination case calculated. The last is the envelope of bending moment, shear and deflection that I already presented at the beginning of the video. As last example, I'll do this exercise to compare the results with an FEM program. It's a full spans beam, with the right hand fixed, with spans of different lengths, with different distributed loads and plenty of concentrated forces, indicated in blue and concentrated moments in green. To save time, I've already solved it. Let's start. Like we said, the number of span is 4, fixed on the right hand. We won't calculate the envelope case, but just a single one. Let's insert the values for each span. For the first one, the length is 5 meters with not distributed load. Click the concentrated force and moment option to enter the forces. The first one is 1.5 kN at 1.5 meters from the left support. It doesn't matter if you use the point or the comma for decimals, the program recognizes both of them. The second force is 3 kN at 3 meters. To exit the force panel to enter the moment one, just click end or leave the mask empty. In the same way, we insert the moments. 2.5 kN meter at 2.5 meters from the left support and minus 3 kN meter at 3 meters. Exit and get to EJ 1666.6666 kN square meter, which is the value of a steel beam with a square section of 10 cm. Span 2, length 4 meters, distributed load 4 kN per meter. Forces, minus 2 kN at 2 meters, and 3 kN at 3 meters. Moments, 2 kN meter at 2 meters and 3.5 kN meter at 3.5 meters. Exit. Span 3. Length 6 meters. Distributed load 6 kN per meter. Forces 1 kN at 1 meter. Minus 3.5 kN at 3.5 meters. Moments minus 2.5 kN meter at 2.5 meters and 6 kN meter at 6 meters, which is exactly over the bearing. Last span, length 7 meters and no load. Forces, 2 kN at 2 meters and 6.5 kN at 6.5 meters. Moments, 2.5 kN meter at 2.5 meters and minus 4 kN meter at 4 meters. For the single case, it will take just few seconds. In the summary sheet, we find the lengths, distributed loads, the concentrated forces, and moments. And as always, the reactions, the moments on the bearings and on the right fixed hand and the maximum and minimum values of bending moment, shear and deflection. Let's compare the reactions at the bearings. Just give me a few seconds to adjust the page. Here we are. At the bearings, the values of reaction are 1.6156 kN, 8.6019, 29.9226, 18.5815, and 4.7784 kN. Let's compare the maximum and minimum values of bending moment. The maximum is 13.129 kN meter, and the minimum is minus 16.302 kN meter. From here we can check also the moment at the bearings. Minus 2.672 kN meter, 
minus 16.302 minus 12.211 and in the right fixed end let me enlarge the diagram 2.09 kN again the same values ok now let's take a look at the diagram let me just enlarge it as you can see they look exactly the same later we will see also the intermediate results but for now let's check the maximum and minimum values for the shear the maximum is 18.64 kN and the minimum minus 14.86 kN the same values again ok now let's take a look at the shear diagram again they look exactly the same just a note in the position of a concentrated force there is the double point that shows the discontinuity in the point of application of the concentrated force and this happens also with the concentrated moment like here Now let's compare the intermediate values of bending moment and shear. Let me organize the chart, hide those values and put together the two charts. Ok. As you can see, the values of bending moment of my column match perfectly with the one of the FEM program. The same happens also for the shear, but let me just look for more interesting results along the beam. Remember that the first span has not distributed load. And as you can see, also those values are the same. Ok, now the deflection. Let's check first the maximum and minimum values. We are 23.7299 mm and minus 11.9403 mm, which are the same with some differences. One, is that in my program the unit used for deflection is millimeter while FEM program uses meter and the other difference is that there is an opposite orientation of a vertical axis so they have a different sign this different choice has no influence in the results in fact the two diagrams are the same let me check the chart for the deflection Let me organize the chart, hide everything and keep this one. Although the different sign, my column of deflection has the same values of a half and one. That's all for today. Please rate and leave any comment. Thank you for watching.